So it's important to look at the normal to then recognize the abnormal. So this, as all, are all the uh, slides and images in this presentation come from the American Society of Hematology Image Bank. Um, this is an example of a normal peripheral smear. And it's important to have an organized approach when looking at a normal peripheral smear. Again, keeping this to the uh, med student and test taking level, generally speaking, you're looking for those three cell types. You're looking at the red blood cells. You're looking at their shape. You're looking at their number. You're looking at the central pallor, which should be somewhere you know, between 30 and 45% of the uh, diameter of the cell. Um, all of these are clues to whether there is a pathologic process going on in the red blood cell lineage. Then you look at the white blood cells. We have a few examples here of what look like neutrophils. Um, and again, you're looking at their morphology, their abundance. Um, what are the different types of white blood cells that you're seeing in your smear that can give you clues to what might be going on in a particular patient? And I will say right now that it's very unlikely that you're gonna be tested, at least zoomed out like this on platelets because platelets are tiny. They are all over the place, of course, but um, typically, uh, you're looking for their presence. If they're completely absent in thrombocytopenia, that can be a clue to something that's going on. But again, at this high level resolution, not much to say about the platelets. And of course, here I've color coded them. So the red arrow to a red blood cell, the white arrow to a white blood cell, and then that sort of grayish blue arrow pointing to a platelet. I could spend an hour going over all of the different white blood cells, the neutrophils, the basophils, the eosinophils, all of which are very beautiful and, and have their own distinct morphology and staining. We don't have time for that. We're going to dive into pathology right now. But just take a moment to look at the screen. This is what a normal peripheral blood smear looks like. <laughs> 